so dear friends uh, once again welcome now let us do the problem of truss by the method of joints so the problem statement is determine the force produced in each bar of the tower shown in figure due to a horizontal force p applied at the top as shown in figure so here this is the force p and this is the only force is being applied on this whole structure okay so uh, here in solution firstly we need to write what are the given given data r the force horizontal force is given okay but the value magnitude is not given so here we have we have the applied force at a that is p and uh, how many members this structure has so you can count it from 1 2 and so on till the 10 so how many members so this structure have the 10 members okay so in this question in each bar we have to find out we have to find out forces or you can say axial forces in all in all the bars or you can say the members okay so means we have to apply the method of joints obviously not the method of sections okay this is not applied here okay so the structure is big it has 10 members so calculations may be very lengthy so by before solving we have to identify so that it becomes less calculative so what is the approach then identify by zero force members okay so how to identify in this uh, what about the members members we have to identify zero force members okay so what about one F one may not be zero. F two may not be zero. Why? Because at joint E there is a force P. Force P is applied. Okay. What about at joint B? Joint B here. Yeah. So see, ah, uh, what about members F seven? What about members eight? This one, this one. What about members nine? This one. What about members ten? Okay. Because as we know, if F one, F two are not zero, then definitely F three, F five. And uh, here you can write F four and uh, F six will not be zero. Okay, why? Because force one and uh, force three both are collinear. So F one has some value. So the same value F three will have the same value F five will have. How? Okay. So suppose this is the joint B and uh, it is. F one and uh, it is F three. So what will be here? 
F1. If you write equation, suppose it uh, this is the axis, horizontal axis, x axis. Okay. So what will be F1 minus F3 is equal to zero. Means F1 is equal to F3. Okay. That's why how many members? The six members are not the zero force members. But what about F7? Is equal to zero or not? What about F8? Zero. What about F9? Zero. What about F10? Zero. Okay. But how? So F7 see here. You can see at B. At B. Okay. Then what is it? F1. F3. And it is B. And F7. So only F7 is there. You can see. If it is x-axis, so only F7 is the vertical force, okay? And the no one force is there to balance it, so that's why F7 will be zero. Similarly, for eight, eight क्यों होगा? आप देख सकते हैं eight से eight joint C, or you can say the joint N, no force is acting at C and E. Okay, no forces are there. No forces are there. Eight joints C and E. So that's why the F at here this force, F nine this force, and F ten will be zero. Okay, and it is like a Uh, F7 and uh, F9 also can be proved uh, like this. So let us come to joint C. Joint C, we want to visualize. Okay, so why not to here for the better understanding? So see here, uh, this is the zero force. F7 here. The joint C, and uh, this is this one. It is F two. It is F four. This force is F seven. Is already zero. Okay. And what about this inclined? So it is F eight. Okay. And this th this is collinear. Okay. So let us prove that why F eight is equal to Zero. Okay. So you can see here. Uh, if you resolve this force into parallel to F7, means uh, it is suppose x-axis and uh, along the x-axis suppose you resolve and uh, along the y-axis you resolve. Okay. Then what we get? Uh, suppose F eight x. So what will be F eight x is equal to this is what F eight and uh, some angle suppose theta. So cos theta. Okay. So what we do? We apply the equilibrium conditions like uh, some is F x is equal to zero. Okay. So here you can see. We have only one component, that is this one. So this is the only F eight cos theta, okay, is equal to zero. So F eight is equal to zero. That's why F eight is zero here. F ten is zero here. Like here, we have written. So in this way, we have identified uh, the zero force members, and uh, mathematically also we have proved it how we can claim these members are zero force members, and why the other members are not the zero force members. Okay, and uh, one situation like uh, not in this, but uh, like there may be situation. Uh, this is the suppose joint, and uh, these are members one. Members two, okay. So what about the forces? F one, F two. So.
सो क्या हो जाएगा एफ वन विल बी जीरो एफ टू विल बी जीरो वाई आप देख सकते हैं द ज्वाइंट इज दिस ज्वाइंट इज फ्री फ्रॉम द लोडिंग देर इज नो लोड दैट्स वाई इट मे बी आदर इन दिस फॉर्म दिस द ज्वाइंट वन टू दिज आर द मेम्बर्स and this can be also proved the mathematically so with this we have done this the identification of zero force members